Hello, my dear students of class 9. A very pleasant good morning to you all. Hope all of you are keeping fine and doing well in this fine morning. And I also hope you have uh, celebrated the Republic Day in a wonderful way. Alright. So, coming to today's class, let us see, dear students. Today again we are going to learn Merchant of Venice, our drama. And today, Act 2, Scene 9. You know that this particular act has got 9 scenes, such a long scene, a long act. And today we are on the 8th act, which is rather a short scene. So here we will be learning test number 1 to 55, total test 1 to 55, that means the full scene we are going to learn today. And the location of this scene, the area where the scene is taking place that you have to understand, it is happening in a street in Venice, street in Venice and the characters present in this particular scene are our Salarino and Salanio. Both the Salarino and the Salanio, both of them are very close friends of our dear Antonio and Bassanio. And uh, what is the context here? Both friends, Salarino and Salanio, both of them are talking about uh, the way Shylock uh, uttered his cry in the street when he realized that his uh, daughter has deceived him. So it is given as mockery of Shylock, making fun of Shylock, making fun of Shylock, how Shylock cried in the street. And the second part we are going to learn that opinion about Antonio. Now Salarino and Salanio, both of them say their regard and their opinion about their best friend Antonio. Yes, dear students, all together in this particular scene of uh, scene 8, act 2, scene 8, we are going to learn all these things. Alright, hope all of you are ready for the class and please have a pencil with you so that as I teach, uh, you can uh, write down and make the notes, underline, write the meanings and so on. Alright students, hope all of you are ready with your pencil, notebook, textbook, everything. And let us begin our class. Alright. In this scene, Shiloh discovers the elopement of his daughter with a Christian and the theft of gold and jewels while fleeing. So in this particular scene, we come to know uh, that Shiloh has already realized the uh, elopement of Jessica with a Christian and also he has understood that she has taken away all the wealth, money, decades, jewels and so on. This intensifies his hatred for Christians and his desire for revenge. So this incident, incident of the elopement as well as the theft intensifies, makes very serious about Shylock's hatred towards our Christians or, and his desire for revenge. Salarino and Salanio talk about a shipwreck and the hope that it is not Antonio. So meanwhile, our Salarino and Salanio, they also talk about a shipwreckage that happened and they simply wishes that let it not be of Antonio's ship. The scene further highlights Antonio's love for Bassanio as he bids farewell to him with tearful eyes. These are the things. So the last part of their Salerno and Salerno, they talk about the intimate friendship between Antonio and Bassanio. This is what we are going to see in this particular scene altogether. Scene 8, Venice, a street enters Salerno and Salerno. Salerno begins the dialogue telling that, Why man, 
why here means in Shakespearean language, why means yes. Yes, man, I saw Bassanio under sail. Under sail means set sail. I saw Bassanio going in a ship or under sail. With him is Graciano gone along. With him there was only one person that was of our Graciano. And in their ship I am sure Lorenzo is not there. So there is already a talk in the city, in the street that Jessica and Lorenzo has fled away, eloped. So they are both Salorna and Salanio, they are telling that yes man I saw in the ship of our Bassanio, only who was there? Only our Graciano was present, no one else. So Salanio, the villain Jew with outcries raised the Jew. Outcries means complaints. With complaints, the villain Jew, Shiloh, went and complained to, uh, complained to the Jew who went with him in search Bassanio's ship. So, as Shiloh went and made the complaint against our, our Lorenzo, Jessica and so on, so Duke went and checked the ship of Bassanio, Salerno. He came too late. When Duke and Shiloh reached, the ship had already set sail, already began its journey. He came too late. The ship was under sail. But there the Duke was given to understand. The Duke was given to understand means the Duke was informed. The Duke was given the information that in a gondola we are seen together Lorenzo and his amorous Jessica. And in that, in, in the harbor, the Duke was given the information that both Lorenzo and Jessica, they were seen going uh, in a gondola. Gondola means a flat-bottomed ship, fla flat-bottomed uh, small ship that is used to cross a canal. That is do or Donga in now, small now, yes. So, but there the Duke was given to understand that in a gondola were seen together Lorenzo and his amorous Jessica. Amorous means loving. Loving Jessica. Amorous. A-M-O-R-O-U-S. Amorous means loving. Yes. Besides Antonio certified the Duke, they were not with Bassanio in his ship. And more than these things, Bas Antonio also informed the Duke that in the ship of Bassanio there was only uh, Graciano and Lorenzo and Jessica were not. So, so these are the information that our Duke received from the harbor. That means first information was that people saw Lorenzo and his amorous Jessica going in a gondola. Gondola means a flat bottomed uh, small boat to cross a canal. Then Antonio also confirmed that in Bassanio's ships both Lorenzo and Jessica were not present. Alright. Salario. I never heard a passion so confused. I have never heard such an emotional expression, such an emotional expression expressed by our child dog in the street. It was so strange, outrageous, excessive, more than what is supposed to be. Excessive and so variable. Variable means frequently changing because Shiloh was crying for his daughter, his decades and revenge. Varying, various things. So, Shylock's cry in the street was so outrageous, so various and so strange. As the dog did, as the dog Jew did utter in the streets, my daughter, my decades, my daughter, he was crying about my daughter, my decades, my daughter, flood with a Christian, oh my Christian decades, Justice, the law, my decades and my daughter. 
a sealed bag two sealed bags of ducats of double ducats stolen from me by my own daughter those are the content of our content of the cry of our content of the cry of shylock in the street let us see what are the things that he was crying in the street oh my daughter my ducats my daughter flood with a christian yes flood with a christian oh my christian ducats justice the law my ducats my daughter then a sealed bag a sealed bag means a closed bag two sealed bags of uh, ducats two sealed bags of ducats of double coins single coins and double coins stolen from me by my daughter and jewels two stones two rich and precious stones stolen by my daughter justice find the girl she had the stones upon her and the case bhago pakdo that torn is made by our shylock in the street <coughs> excuse me for that but the season forces you <laughs> this type of sneezing all right so again our shailo is saying that and jewels two stones two rich and precious stones stolen by my daughter just is find the girl she hath sto- uh, stones upon her and the ducat hath means has yes dear students what an interest- interesting how to write that is the reason why our salario says that the passion expressed by shylock in the street was so strange outrageous and so variable and more than that you have to understand that shylock was not simply crying for his uh, for his uh, uh, daughter but more than that he was so much worried and crying for his lost money now you may ask one question here that is how uh, Shylock's ducats became a Christian ducat. That means, see, Shylock is a Jewish person, Jewish religion, and our uh, uh, Jessica is the daughter of uh, Shylock, so she is also a Jew, Jewish person, Jewish lady. And after stealing those money, Jessica had handed over all those things to her Christian lover. that means now lorenzo is a christian thus when jessica handed over the ducats to our our uh, lorenzo it became a christian ducat so that is the reason why our why our shylock is saying that oh my christian ducats then again you have to remember what all things jessica had stolen from her from her own house a sealed bag please underline two sealed bags of the case of double the case double the case means having the value of double for example we have one rupee coin and two rupee coins so these two rupee coins that is the double the case like double value stolen from me by my daughter then again a jewels again a jewels torn precious stones and rich precious stones diamonds like that one stolen by my daughter just is find the girl she had the stones upon her precious stones upon her and the ducats so that was the outcry made by our shylock in the street salerino why yes all the boys in venice follow him crying his stones his daughter and his ducats and more than that shylock was supported in the street by our street boys they were also simply crying after shylock my daughter yes my daughter my ducats and so on like that you may have seen uh, the julus you know, the election uh, what we say the election procession or uh, the election campaign that happens in gulam zindabad in gulam zindabad same way my ducats my christian ducats my daughter all those things that means in a hilarious way in a funny way our salarino is saying that shylock in the street uh, 
uh, while he was crying was simply supported by his own uh, the street children like that why all the boys in the venice follow him crying his stones his daughter and his decades selenio let antonio let good antonio look he keep his day or he shall pay for this oh suddenly he says that our selenio is saying that oh my goodness let antonio remember about the day in which he needs to repay 3000 decades to shailo adre otherwise he is going to have a big trouble in his life oh good let good and don you look he keep this his day or he shall pay for this what is the this one if andonio fails to pay 1 decades in time definitely what is going to happen one pound of his flesh would be extracted cut from the heart of andonio that is the bond according to which he is supposed to take so selenio may i even remember oh my goodness oh my goodness well remembered i reasoned with a fr- with a frenchman yesterday reasoned with means here reason means talked with that is the meaning talked with conversed with i reasoned with a frenchman yesterday who told me in the narrow seas that part french and english their miscarried a vessel of our country richly fraud i thought upon antonio when he told me and wished in silence that it were not his so how salerno suddenly remembered about the ship wreckage that he had heard of heard from a frenchman and he was saying that i reasoned with a frenchman yesterday reasoned with means i talked with a frenchman yesterday who told me in the narrow sea is that part part means separates the narrow sea that separates france and england the canal so there was a ship wreckage the french and english their miscarried miscarried means was wrecked means ship wrecked ship wrecked means ship accident we can say miscarried a vessel of our country richly fraught a vessel means a ship of our country which is filled with all the cargo items that is called richly fraught i thought upon antonio because why our salerno thought about the ship of antonio because at this time antonio's ships ships were in the sea they were on sail so suddenly i thought upon antonio when he told me and wished in silence that it were not he is and silently i wish oh my goodness this ship shall not be the ship of our dear antonio so what I, see that is the 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 nature of true friendship between uh, salerno salanio basanio antonio and all this type of people even they don't want any bad thing happens to their best friend so he wish oh my goodness this ship wreckage shall not be the ship wreckage of our antonio richly for fraud richly fraud the meaning is or oh, again given there that means laden filled with filled with see zalana you were best to tell antonio what you hear it is better from your side to uh, inform our uh, antonio what you hear whatever you hear it is nice that you tell antonio yet do not suddenly for it may grieve him grieve him means make him so, uh, sorrowful grief disappointment he a sorrowful melancholy so our salanio say that it is better for you to inform our antonio about this type of things whenever you hear yet you don't say this thing suddenly but slowly and gradually otherwise it would make him sorrow full or melancholy again grief so see when a fatal news is there when an accident news about accident or death and so on this should be communicated to the concerned family or the members in a gradual way 
otherwise it can double the double the tragedy that means for example if suddenly you say the death of a beloved person of a particular family person who hear that may not be able to hold the news so he may just collapse and die of attack so that should not so whatever you hear this type of news better to inform gradually and slowly because uh, it would make the other one very painful so seller no a kinder gentleman now last part we are going to see these things opinion about antonio now salerno and salerno they share their experience or their opinion uh, about their best friend antonio <laughs> a kinder gentleman treads not the earth treads means travel or walk tread mill you know that yes that means i have never seen a kinder person walking on the face of earth I saw Bassanio and Antonio far. I saw both Bassanio and Antonio far. Far means separated, going. That means when Bassanio left for Belmont, our our Salerno saw how both Antonio and Salerno good said goodbye to each other. I saw Bassanio and Antonio far. Bassanio told him he would make some speed of his return. He answered. When Bassanio told that time, but when Bassanio told he will make some speed to return, then he told uh, some speed to his return. He answered, "Do not slumber, not business for my sake. Rush through. Slumber, not means rush through carelessly. I, you shall not slumber, not business for my for my sake. You shall not carelessly finish your work." Basanio, but stay the very ripening of the time. Stay in Belmont until the time is fulfilled. That means Basanio, but stay the very ripening of the time. And for the juice bond, the juice bond. What is that juice bond? The bond that is three thousand decades which our Basanio had taken. Uh, uh, Basanio had taken from Shylock in the name of. Antonio, please don't think about that three thousand decades which we are supposed to give to Shylock, which uh, he has of me. He has let it not enter in your mind of love. This thought of paying three thousand decades to our three thousand decades to Shylock shall not enter your loving heart. Yes. And for the Jews bond which he hath of me, let it not enter in your mind of love. Be merry, be merry means be happy, and employ your chiefest thoughts, main thoughts. Be occupied with your main thoughts to courtship and such fair ostents of love. Be busy in expressing yourself in the best possible way. to courtship and such fair ostents yes ostents means displays of love so look at reference number 44 hyphen 6 on the right side of your test book be cheerful and let your thoughts be mainly directed to your love suit and to making fair display of love as shall be suitable and which give you credit there so you mainly focus on how you need to express yourself show the best possible way of your love so that you can be successful in what you are going for so he says that don't be hurry don't be quick in returning <laughs> to courtship and such fair ostents of love as shall conveniently become you there and even there after saying that his eyes being big with tears at that moment what happened antonio's eyes got filled with tears turning his face so he just turned his face because antonio did not want to see his tears coming out uh, uh, by seen by basanio so he antonio turned his face turning his face he put his hand behind him he put his hand behind him 
like this behind the hill and with affection wondrous sensible and extremely feeling extreme emotions and with affection wondrous sensible that means wonderfully tender such soft soft feeling wondrous sensible he rug basanyo stand and so they part rug rig w r i g rug that is w is w r u n g rug rig rug rug yes basanyo's hand and so they part so it was an emotional farewell emotional parting by both the friends and our uh, salanyo is saying that see salanyo i think he only loves the world for him i think in my opinion our uh, antonio lives in this world only for our basanyo i think he only loves the world for him i pray the let us go and find him out let us go and find him out and quicken his embrace the heaviness quicken means cheer up let us cheer up his sorrowful heart and his embrace heaviness means the sadness in which he is indulging let us go find let us go and find him so that we can cheer him up and bring him out of his melancholy yes embrace heaviness with some de- de- uh, delight delight or other with some amusement or diversion let us bring him out of his sorrowful situation salam so, do we so yes it is very important let us do so let us do so because it is very important yes dear students hope the test is clear for you uh, please let us recap once again what we have already learned today act 2 scene 8 as number 1 to 55 the full test and the location is just a uh, uh, street in venice and the characters present here are our salerno and salerno and what is the context the context of how uh, the mockery of our uh, shylock mock means the both friends are sharing that how shylock cried in the street then second second thing one more point that is here the middle part that means the news about the ship wreckage of our antonio and the third one is our shylock sorry our uh, salerno and salerno's opinion about our antonio and basanyo this is what we have learned today thus please understand and your homework today i would like to give you three small homework again please write down the summary of this entire scene and their class in four to five sentences second question number 2 then uh, uh what is the news that uh, sorry what are the things that jessica has stolen from her house write down the items which jessica has stolen from her house and also write few sentences about uh, the the humor in which our shylock cried in the street the fun funny cry shylock made in the street then uh, the last question two or three sentences again say how antonio and the basanyo parted before going to balmont hope the class is clear for you any problem please write a note so that i can uh, get back to you with the answer hope all the things are clear for you <laughs> we will see you in our next class today itself i will be sending you the notes of uh, the notes of our uh, act 2 scene 7 all right until we see in our next class with the video please uh, uh have a uh, i wish you all the best have a nice day please do subscribe my channel alan's tutorial so that you can get all the things related to your literature studies so take care bye bye thank you